I don't have a big butt like my worthy adversary, Philip Banks. But what I do have is the. Oh, hey, hi guys. Hope you're having a good Saturday afternoon. Hi, my name is Jeremy. Sometimes we play video away it comes here. And that's what we're gonna do. do, do. Well, uh, something's wrong with me tonight. Something's not right. Something's not right with me. No, we're gonna play uh, The Pursuit of Justice. I got it to work. I got my Windows 98 virtual machine to work. So let's <clears throat> let's hope this actually does what it's supposed to do. You know, this, this actually was pretty exhausting to get this to work. I'm exhausted. Give me a break, guys. Come on. Yeah, this is a Windows 98 virtual machine. And in it, we're gonna play The Pursuit of Justice. It's an FMV crime lawyer game. I have no fucking idea. I just bought it from Amazon because I thought it looked funny. This could be a terrible stream. It could be a great stream. You have to roll the dice when you come here. This, this game might just fucking break. And I'm, I'm not prepared for that. Actually, yes I am. I'm always prepared. I'm prepared for anything. So let's move over here. Hey, look at that. Windows 98. I hope this works. Because if it doesn't, then I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. And hopefully there's no nudity in this game. You're literally never prepared. Yes I am. Come on. You know how hard it is to prepare this shit? I didn't just open up a fucking box from GameStop and press play. I had to go install a computer inside of my computer. That's not just like opening a fucking box. That's not just opening a fucking box, okay? I didn't go get a key and open a crate. I had to install a computer in my computer. And you know how fucking hard that is? You know how much nudity is in this game? All right, let's go. Here we go, the pursuit of justice. Where's the audio? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, it works perfectly fine. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> this is a dog. Special delivery. Sign here, please. I, I, I die. Alright. Like, I already put my name in here. I wrote my name already. I skipped everything. I didn't see that though. That's not good. Case selection. I guess we, we pick a certain case we want to work on. There's the Sunset Boulevard Deuce, the Gatsby Diamond Jewelry Theft, or the Rat Tattoo Murder. <laughs> well, I think I know which one you guys are going to want me to do. So what, should I, I don't even, why would I even do a poll? When a pool hall challenge turns from a game of nine ball to a dangerous skirmish between two rival Chinese gangs, young Tommy Wu loses his life. Innocent victim or calculated target, it's you against the defense in a high-profile case, fresh out of today's headlines. Murder weapon, motive, passionate testimony, it's all there and it's time for the district attorney to make a stand. Alright, let, let's hope this works. Because <laughs> if it doesn't, I'm going to be very, very upset. Here we go. Rat tattoo murder. Wait, not, not play, not play. I mean, well, first we have to like, we have to like fucking sacrifice somebody. To like, make sure this works. Alright, they've been sacrificed. But yeah, you're him. It was you who sent my brother up the river. <laughs> <laughs> Did I already lose? Congratulations! Last conviction! Not only did you get Chief Deputy Deputy, the old man is also gonna put you on that new murder case. Oh, uh, go on in and see if I'm right. <laughs> Everybody's a fucking malfunctioning android. <laughs> what do I have to do? I have to go to the deputy's office? I don't understand. Uh, I guess I have to like. Like, nothing happens in here. Okay, cool. What is this? Lawyer's Lounge. Should I watch the TV? You kids have got to stop the violence. You young people have got to stop all the killing. Tell me. Show me. Uh, I, I, what, am I supposed to, what am I supposed to do? I don't get this. Is this like one of those Pac-Man tables? Alright! It's time now to play! Think you know your law, counselor? Prove it. The audio is certainly trying its best. Yeah, uh, choose a point value. The higher the number, the tougher the question. What is, the fuck is going on? Rule, counselor! Alright, just get me out of here. Like, I, I need to go, like, fucking... Uh, this, uh, where's, like, the rat tattoo murderer? Okay, district attorney, here we go. Frank Jarrett. Let's see how, let's see how much... Here we go. Congratulations on that Covington conviction, kid. You're on a hell of a roll. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't impressed. We've got another youth-related case for you, only this time it's not some would-be debutante stealing diamonds and joyriding a BMW. 
This is a murder charge. Whoa! Suspect's name is uh, Michael Fong. He's a member of a Chu Sing. That's a Chinese gang. A group of kids, mostly ABCs, American-born Chinese, the ABCs? were hanging out at Hal's Bar Wait a minute. in Spring Street I, that, that, downtown. I know that actor. They were pretty much minding their own business on the night of January 24th. Hold on, what? Until three members of the Chu Sing come in. Well, one of the guys gun? playing pool is a member of the resident gang, the Spring Street Boys. And he's got a few that's a little shorter than the rest of his buddies. <laughs> and a 25 automatic to go along <laughs> with it. So he shows it to the Chu Sings, and they decide to honor his request that they leave. That was a security guard posted at the door. But from what I understand, he's got his nose in the racing form all the while this is going on, and uh, he's got headphones on, so he's completely oblivious. <laughs> An hour and a half later, there's six Chu Sings that come barging in, and Michael Fong is the point man, the <gasps> ringleader. Oh, Jesus! Only this time, he had one purpose in mind: to get Tommy yeah. Wu. Like pretty good. All hell breaks loose. Time to get guy. stopped because he's down on the floor. Whoa! Stop it! A bullet in the head makes sure he never gets up. Anyway, that's what this one is all about. So, uh, get the work. Yeah, that was like better acting. Work. Like 30 years ago, there was better acting in full motion games. That's something to be said, right? Alright, we got four days until the trial. I don't know who we're supposed to be, uh... Who are we supposed to- what are we supposed to be doing? Chief Deputy DA, Jerb. Okay. I can live in this place. Is that, is that me? Congratulations on the promotion to Chief Assistant. Makes me kind of glad I latched onto your star. That's supposed to be me talking. Okay, I got a phone call. Who is it? Uh, pick it up. Hello? You have two messages. Tommy Wu's own fault that he's dead, and the Chu Sing don't appreciate having one of our people locked up just for defending himself. You'd be a lot better off if you just walk away from this thing. Four days is ridiculous. I just got threatened, by Hi, the way. this is Cindy Chen. I wanted to call and see if there's any way me and my family could get some round-the-clock protection. We're worried about the Chu Sings that maybe they'll try to retaliate once they find out I'm going to testify and all. So please, if you can do something. <laughs> okay. So I just got threatened. Let's go to my new supercomputer. You might have gotten since you've been away. Why don't I just give you a little recap on how it works? Yeah, tell me how to what, what, what to do here. The clock lets you know how much time you have before you have to go to trial, but you can always show up early if you think you're ready. First thing is the main menu, which shows you the different functions. Why is this like skipping? <laughs> the most important thing is the case constructor. Why is this skipping like it's on a fucking record player? This is where you organize your case for trial. As you go around checking out all the evidence and testimony, you take a digital picture of the stuff that looks relevant, and it shows up here in your toolbox. Go toolbar. to trial? I have no evidence. Anything that can be used as evidence, you can photograph with a digital camera. If the camera's there and doesn't work, it's because your toolbar is full. For Hardcore each case, mode trial now? Things. The first one... Okay. Fine. Go to trial. Oh, if you really think you're prepared enough, go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to go to trial. I just, I just got hired. All rise. <laughs> the Honorable Judge Lawrence Adams presiding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your Honor, I don't have any fucking evidence. I don't even know. I just got hired. I just got off the subway to my desk. People may proceed with their case. I literally haven't even opened up the wax Ladies seal. Ladies and gentlemen, of and gentlemen of the jury, Tommy Wu was a person who was a person who was a dream, dream ideals, all of which were destroyed on the evening of January 24th, when Tommy was murdered in cold blood by the defendant, Michael Fong. The defendant uh, that, is charged with first degree murder. Oh my God. The evidence will show he is guilty. He is guilty. He is guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Please insert CD2? What? Do I even have CD2? I don't, I don't think I do. Okay, I do. Hold on, I'm gonna insert the second disc. Hold on a minute, guys. I gotta insert disc 2 to object to the, uh, to the murder. Way to really take me out of the game, Pursuit of Justice. Alright, insert CD2, the rat tattoo murder. Okay. 
Okay, you gotta wait. Back, you gotta wait for like Windows to understand. There we go. All right, witnesses. I don't have any witnesses. I don't think. I have no witnesses. I can't even like click that. Just, just give up. I just spit everywhere. Like, give up. <laughs> we brought all these people to trial. Everybody, get over here for me to say. By the way, I'm done. I got nothing. Okay, case constructor. Got this guy's beat up face. I have literally nothing. How do I get out of here? I, I don't have anything. How do I leave? <laughs> Need at least one witness of the case can't proceed. Yeah, I'm trapped in the- I'm trapped in the courtroom. Okay, I guess I got out. Witnesses. I don't have- okay, well, uh, alright, uh, I- At this time, your honor, the people rest. <laughs> let me see, hold on, let me just insert disc three. Hold on, give me one sec. Let me just, let me just insert disc three. Oh my god. No, what do you have to say? Your Honor, I would like to make a motion to dismiss this case due to the insufficiency of the evidence. Motion granted, Mr. Blaine. Counselor, if you aren't going to do your homework, stay out of my courtroom. <laughs> case dismissed. Holy shit, do you think I have faith? <laughs> Alright, a case dismissed. I got 0%. Oh my fucking god. Oh, keep, hold on. <laughs> Do you remember this shit back in the day? You had to like change discs. I had to put a new disc in just for them to tell me I failed the game. <laughs> we, we actually, I want to actually see, like, I want to try to do something. Oh, don't worry about losing that case. So you lost one. Big deal, you know? You didn't expect to retire undefeated, did you? So don't think about it. Just go back to your office and get to work. Uh,. Oh no. Sometimes it's guitar, sometimes it's guitar, sometimes it's guitar. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Get to work. Uh, <laughs> I think the whole computer, I think my entire computer crashed. Yeah, yeah, it did. Let me just reset the machine. Just give me a second. Yeah, Windows was not shut down properly. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I understand. Just give me a minute for Windows to like properly or like reinstall itself. I think the I think I I think Windows 98 like got fucked up. No, there it goes. Okay. Uh, by the way, my password here is Bum Bum. If anyone was curious, why did I want to play this game so much? I didn't. Uh, this is just like this is Display Doctor. This is like welcome to my like shitty 98 computer. Your new computer uses Windows 98. No, this is a virtual machine. Uh, uh, virtual machine is that I'm running this on my new computer. It's it's a, it's a goofed operating system. It's not real. Well, it is real, but it's not real. It's a, it's a goof operating system. All right, here we go. We're gonna try this again. I want to at least like do one thing. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do the Sunset Boulevard Deuce. I love this. From from information on these and other real life games from Legacy Interactive, please call our toll free number. Why? Uh, I can't play this one. I can only play the Rat Tattoo Murder, by the way. Yeah, I can't play these other ones. Call the number. Okay, fine. You guys want me to call this number? Sure. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay. Let's give it a go. Number is not in service. <laughs> okay, the number is not in service. There's, there's your answer. We have to do the tattoo murder. I think this is a different- No, this isn't a different game. It's the same fucking game. Why would I not be able to click this? Why can't I play this? Why can't I play these? I have to- I, maybe I have to beat the- why would that be listed last? Oh, oh I remember yeah. you! I fucking punched you in the face! It was you who sent my brother up the river! We gotta go talk to Frank Jarrett. Gotta tell you about the story about this guy that got a pool cue shoved up his ass. Okay, yeah, I get you. Let's, can we talk to him again? Let's see what he says this time. Oh, did you just stop in to see how I was doing? Okay, well, he doesn't care. I got a new message. What's the message? Oh wait, I, uh, no, 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 no! Don't go back to this guy's office. I don't want to talk to this guy again. Advice, encouragement, pepperish talk. I'd like to help. I'd like to help. I got an appointment. I'm already late for. <laughs> I love this. Somebody, somebody wrote in the chat. Oh, yeah, cheat. Oh, cheat. We go to the law library. Oh, wait, we got a we got a person in here. I'm gonna get somebody else to like go like. Let's see. 
Can I sit down next to him? No, this guy's just a freeze frame. Keep going into his office, maybe he'll confess the <laughs> detective too, I forgot. <laughs> Let's actually listen to the rundown. You might have gotten a little rusty on that since you've been away. Why don't I just give you a little recap on how it I'm works? I want to actually learn how to do this. The clock lets you know how much time you have before yeah. you have to go to trial. But you can always show up early if you think you're ready. First thing is the main menu, which shows you the different functions. The most you're important not stream thing is two the hours, case constructor. Are you? <laughs> I don't know, I might. This is where you organize your case for trial. As you no, go I'm not around going checking to trial. out all the evidence and testimony, you take a digital picture of the stuff that looks relevant, and it shows up here in your toolbar. Okay. Anything that can be used as evidence, you can photograph with a digital camera. <laughs> if the camera's there and doesn't work, it's because your toolbar is full. We gotta find For the game in here. For each case, you have to prove two things. <laughs> the first one is the identity. You have to show that the defendant is the person who committed the crime. Easy. All evidence and testimony that links the defendant to the crime scene should go here. The second is the criminal charge. You have to prove that each element of the charge against the defendant actually took place. Motor vehicle while under the influence of alcohol. Okay. Easy. You click and you drag your evidence, testimony, See, click and drag. Or tests from the toolbar <laughs> into <laughs> the appropriate <laughs> place <laughs> like this. You can use the same piece of evidence oh, more than once. So funny. You can clear anything you decide you don't want anymore right, by I got highlighting it, it I got and it. hitting clear. Cool. Got it. Legal by map. So, I, I, okay, DA building, police station, crime scene, crime lab. Let's go to the coroner's office first. Hello. I'm Sam Iverson, county coroner. Fucking Bill Knight. I'm Frank Jarrett and I go back a long way. Come on, man. Make yourself at home. Let's examine the body. Let's take some photos. Oh, I Jesus. guess you hear about the Chinese kid from the bar. Cause of death, in layman's terms, is a bullet through the brain. Okay. There's a number of contusions and abrasions, including the strangulation marks on the throat, but he was alive when... I guess you hear about the Chinese kid from the... Oh, shit, like... I guess you hear about the Chinese kid from... <sighs> How do I... <sighs> Alright, case constructor. So, here yeah, we got... We have nothing. Let's take a look over here. Scan it. Okay, the evidence bag 125. Watch. M. Fong's watch. Corpse of Tommy Wu. This is this... Scan it. Got it in my, in my brain. All right, legal notebook case constructor. We gotta watch. Yeah, we gotta watch here. <laughs> Let's go to, go to trial with the watch. <laughs> That's it. All I have is a watch. Uh, what did you bring to the evidence table, uh, Mr. Detective? Ah, uh, I got this guy's watch. I don't know if it means anything, but it's a nice watch. They took, his, like, they took his brain out? Why'd they take his brain out? That jar there contains the part of the brain called the cerebral cortex. That's the part of the brain that controls higher cognitive functions, such as you know, putting things in an ordered sequence. Okay. Who cares? Why do I need to know that? Is this the guy's balls? In that jar are some human eyes from a guy who died <laughs> in ex- I thought that was the guy's balls. That's a spleen. Uh, that jar contains two kidneys from a- Okay, I was wrong. And there is their- That's the stomach. You know, that jar has a part of the brain called- Yeah, I was, I was wrong every time. Okay. This looks like the case file. How's bar, homicide, wound to the head, entry point of center of forehead, exit point of crown, bullet fragment lodged in the skull. There's a contusion at the right thigh. Right, I can knife, right thigh. Raise and lash, raise of the neck. One out of sixteen. This is the sixteen cuts on his neck. That's one out- that's one of them. Uh, along with swelling and two fractured ribs. Well, case for criminal act. I mean, like, killing of a human being. We got his head contusion. He's got a head contusion, and uh, he did it because he stole the guy's fucking watch. He stole his watch, so he gave him a thigh and brain contusion, and then he killed him. So we're gonna put this over here. Uh, I mean, he's dead. I think that's a pretty good case so far. Let's head over to the crime scene. I don't think I can do anything here. I cannot do anything here. That notebook again. Let's go to the. Let's question somebody at the police station. Hey, how you doing, counselor? You got your work cut. You got work on this one. Do us a favor and get this kid off the streets, huh? I can't stand all this gang banging crap. Oh God. Okay, evidence, records, and interrogation. We're gonna go to the interrogation room. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. You got you. You got your work out for you. So we have to watch the interrogation tapes. Detective Gonzalez, uh, Alien Brody. So let's, uh, let's take a look at a witness tape. Mr. Sun, 
Can you tell me where you were at the time of the shooting? Let's see what Harold and Kumar have to say. I went outside for a smoke around that time, so I didn't really see anything. I ran back inside when I heard a shot, and that's when I found Tommy on the floor. With part of his head blown off. From what I understand, there was a pretty nasty fight going on before the shooting. You didn't hear any of that? <laughs> no. I got I suspenders. That's how you know I'm a detective. But it don't matter anyway. Oh, yeah? Why's that? What if it's just Because there's already one person dead. I don't think there needs to be any more. I have my family to think of. You were afraid for your safety if you testify? Is that it? He's gonna smash his head into the fucking table. Guys. He's gonna grab his head and smash it into the table, just like an old, like, 1980s cop. Scan that, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna go into court with, like, oh, by the way, I scanned with my fucking x-ray glasses the TV screen. Case for identity. I mean, we got this fucking guy. Let's get some legal advice for a second here. Do I need more evidence? Do I need more evidence for trial? <laughs> I actually said that. Yeah, you bet you do. Looks like your work's cut off for you this time. Do I need witnesses? For, do I need more witnesses for trial? Do I need more witnesses for trial? Why is it Sonic the Hedgehog? Okay, I've talked too much. So this guy left the room. Have I supported each aspect of the charge against the defendant? <laughs> He's just like, you're a fucking idiot. I'm just leaving you, you fucking dummy. Have I established that the defendant is the person who committed this crime? <laughs> what am I talking to? I'm just sitting here saying things. Do I need more evidence for trial? He's gone. He's just gone. He can't fucking take me anymore. He's out. Oh shit, it's day two already? What? What the fuck? Oh god, I gotta get my case ready. Let's go to the jail. Wait, anybody? We, let's, let's talk this out. There we go. Look, look at all these bad men in prison. <laughs> I spent four hours doing? asking questions in an empty room. Guess you're the new guy from the DA's office. Well, everything's pretty easy to find around here. Visiting area in this lineup booth is right over there. So knock yourself out. Spent too much time scanning TVs with my Robocop glasses. Yeah, my dad always said I'd end up in jail someday. Really? Your dad's fucking crazy. Uh, let's go to the lineup. Room B109. Sorry if you heard different, counselor, but there's no lineup scheduled. Are you serious? What the fuck? Can I talk to anybody in the prison? Prisoner visiting. Here it is. Let's go talk to this guy. Sorry, counselor. I haven't got any prison requests for you today. Somebody tell you otherwise? There's nobody in this jail. Okay, that's fine. So what am I doing here? Well, there's nobody in jail. I gotta go arrest somebody. Can I go to, like, crime scene, DA building, jail, coroner's office, courthouse? Uh-oh. You don't ever want to go into trial half-cocked, but it's your decision. Good luck. No, 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 We're not ready. No, 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 no. I do not want to go to trial yet. Go to the- let's go to the crime lab. <laughs> really good opening hey, acting. Hey, did you hear about that Rio kick that cop like a swig of Beverly Hills? He's found a pair of rubber gloves and rubber gloves and rubber robbery scene up and he promptly draws them on. Nobody told him, but it's time that all you have to do is turn the gloves into the gloves into the gloves into the gloves into the Of course, somebody put the gloves on in the meantime. What a good one. That one gets me every time, Carol. I can't read my fucking messages, by the way. Main menu, what, what is this? I, don't I guess I don't have anything in here. Uh, let's go, like, snort Here's a look some helium. At some red blood cells. The analysis of this sample led to the apprehension of a serial killer. Okay, scan it. I can't scan it. Uh, crime scene, jail, coroner's office, courthouse, DA building. Office just called. They want a list of prosecution witnesses. Uh oh. Chris, if it was up to me, I'd tell them to go pound salt. The law says we have to help them. Go figure. I gotta get some witnesses. Uh, let me get my com let me get in my computer. Go to my office for a second. Okay, here we go. Let's get in that computer. Uh oh. And they do on that course in forensic pathology, just like you thought. Leave me the fuck alone. I got a lot of work to do. Oh, we got a fax coming in. What's it from? Dude, Detective 2. Did you hear about the terrorist that hijacked a 747 full of lawyers? He threatened to release one every half hour if his demands weren't met. What? 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 What is? What is? Why are you text? Why get? I have important fucking work to do. What the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck sent me that? You I want that person's job. Fucking! Messages. I want that person's job. It's Tommy Wu's own fault that he's dead, and that you sing don't appreciate having one of our people locked up just for defending himself. You'd be a lot better off if you just walk away from this thing. Hi, this is Cindy Chen. 
I wanted to call and see if there's any way me and my family could get some round the clock protection. Nah, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. Uh, maybe Cindy. they'll try to retaliate once they find out I'm gonna testify and all. Okay, so I'm gonna please, help her. If you can do something. I'm gonna call her back. Okay, cool. Well, this is Sergeant Stafford down at the police station. I heard you were down here earlier. Yep. Just wanted to let you know I'm getting ready to pack up the evidence for the case you were working on. So you better get down here if you missed anything. All right. I gotta go get evidence, okay. Uh, counselor, uh, this is Sergeant Stafford down here at the uh, station. Okay. Uh, I'm not trying to tell you to do your job or nothing, but uh, did you watch those witness interrogations I taped for you or what? Um, well, uh, they're down here. Okay. Bye. He's not gonna... Hi, this is a courtesy call from Cellular One. It's fucking annoying. I wanted to talk to you about our new monthly service plans, as well as our new line of equipment. But I'll try you back later in the week. Have a nice day. What's with all the phones ringing? There's only one phone in here. Hello, this is Alice Craddock from the Law Library. I'm just calling to say welcome aboard and to let you know, in case nobody's told you yet, that the library's open regular business hours, Monday through Friday. I'm, I'm about to rip the phone out of the socket. See you soon. Okay, it's that, that, that. Counselor. Oh my fucking How God. How you doing? This is Jack Stevenson from down the jailhouse. I forgot listen, everything. Listen, we got a prisoner here that's saying he's got information what? you might oh, want to guard your defendant. He's willing to talk if you're interested. Police station, you got Later. it. Later. Alright, I'm going. Here we go. All right, let's go. Let's go to the police station. Let's question that. No, let's question that guy. Let's go take a look. There he is, right? No, that's not him. So we're gonna do the thing. We're gonna do the thing. We, we both pick up the phones. There he is. He wants to talk. Oh yeah, spill it all on that guy. Is this guy even there? What up? What? I seen my phone on the judge yesterday. <laughs> Fuck! I can't. That what made me think maybe I got something to judge you. Turn him around. I can't even hear what he's saying. Some prior knowledge. You know what I'm talking about? From like six months ago, I heard a word on the street. Word on the street. Get some white child that was moving through the hood. That's something like that. It's best to go right to the runner that's got the hookup. You know <laughs> it's a saying? landline phone. Now we had a bad deal with it's a bad deal, it's a business deal with the tongs, but uh, but they was using gangs up front. The two sings mostly. Michael Fong. The Japanese was easier to understand. <laughs> that's all I know about to do. Oh, thanks for the info. Good, now, yeah. now he's in here because he smokes somebody. I don't know nothing about that. He doesn't, you, neither do I. But, uh, give me some time. He only been in the system a day. So go find... This, this guy's going to be my mole? That's what I'm getting out of this? In the meantime, I came forward on this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't get any of that. I didn't get a fucking word. All I know is that he said I think this he, he's going to be my mole for me. This bitch is scared that! That over, get that over here somewhere. I do want to talk. Uh, I want to do the evidence. I want to. Where's the evidence? Crime scene. I, let's go back to the crime scene. I like. I feel like I can scan something here. You know what I mean? There's something here that I can do. I definitely can scan something. Why would this exist? For no reason. It's gonna be like one of those hidden object games. There's gonna be like a bloody knife over here somewhere that I'm not seeing. Shit. I don't know. Okay. Uh, test order form. I don't know what this does. Fingerprint. Fingerprint analysis. Submit that to the lab. Pick up results in two hours at the lab. Uh, tool mark identification. Submit that to the lab, too. Alright, we got some good evidence here. Uh, let's see if we can get some more legal advice. Have I supported each aspect of the charge against the defendant? I wouldn't say so, no. This guy's so bored. Do I need to order more tests for trial? <laughs> I love that. Can you imagine Sonic the Hedgehog coming in with like a detective cap on and like a suit? Sitting cross-legged? You know, with like a leg up on the- and with like a fucking- He's got like a pen and paper and a clipboard. I could see them doing that. They've made so many stupid shit Sonic games that make no fucking sense. He turned into a goddamn werewolf. I mean, is it against the realm of possibility that Sonic Team would make him like a shitty detective? Like, it's probably gonna happen. Mark my words. Do I need more evidence for trial? <laughs> Go back to the crime lab. There she is. She's gonna go. Hey, I'm done with those tests. She was tested. She went over to your computer. Let's take a look. <laughs> By the way, she's eating a sandwich. How unsanitary. You're gonna fuck it all up. This lady is like Pokey the pig. What's this? Fingerprint. Watch the finger. Watch fingerprint. What you're looking for when making a fingerprint match are pattern similarities. There are three patterns to look for arches, loops, and whorls. Narrow down your options by looking at the basic type of print. Uh, this looks pretty close what here. What are the dominant patterns? 
Then you can get more specific and count and identify the ridges. Yep, Go ahead and take a shot. Try and make the match. This looks like this looks pretty close to me here, doesn't it? It's this one right here. There it is. That's a loop print, the index finger of Tommy Wu's right hand. It's Tommy Wu. He had the knife in his hand. Scan that. Hey, scan the thing. Scan the scan of the fingerprint scan that's on the computer. Take a look at the uh, the victim's thigh. Let's see if we can identify a tool here. Tools such as hammers, screwdrivers, drills, and crowbars can be linked to marks left on door moldings, safes, and window sashes. Hmm. We look on minute but corresponding imperfections engraved on the tools through manufacturing or use. This method is also used when linking an implement to impressions found on a body. Huh. I mean, this this kind of looks like. Is it the horseshoe or is it the wine glass? Or is it like the Gatorade bottle? What do you think he did? Do you think he smashed him with a Gatorade bottle? No, this is definitely not the Gatorade bottle. I'm gonna say it's this one. It's either this one or this one. You got it. Yep. Mark on Tommy's leg is consistent with the boot that Michael Fong was wearing when he was got arrested. Alright, let's like open up the notebook. Let's get these in. Let's get these scans in there. Case for identity. We've got uh, some scans now. We've got fingerprints now. That it was premeditated. And, like, with the intent to kill, he, like, fucking stomped on his thigh. Got one day. I'm gonna go get up. Bar, the big shot prosecutor. You swagger around the place like you own the joint. I like your style. <clears throat> Why is this called the rat tattoo, by the way? You have four messages. Hey, some bad news. Wayne got a court order to suppress Michael Fawn's confession in the squad car. Apparently, his Miranda rights weren't read to him. Don't embarrass yourself by asking Detective Gonzalez. Shut the fuck up, the phone ringing. It's like Mr. Blaine is in top form. Counselor, it's Jack Steenson again from down the jailhouse. Listen, we got a witness on your case ready to go in for a lineup. I'd get right down here if you want to watch the identification. Okay? Yep. Later. I'm go we gotta go get, we gotta do the lineup. Hello, Counselor. It's Professor Kendall. I understand your trial starts tomorrow, so get a good night's sleep tonight and don't cram like you did for my class. Good luck. Why would one of my old teachers be calling me? Get the fuck out of here. How'd you find this number? That's terrifying. Hey, I like taught you in grade school. I'm gonna call you at your job 20 fucking five years later. Make sure you don't cram like you did on my exam. I'm scary and like looking for you every day. Right, let's do the lineup. Who am I? What am I supposed to be identifying here? Oh no, I don't have to do this, do I? Turn to your right. You recognize the man who shot Tommy from any of these five? I do, because he was in the- oh shit. Wait a minute, uh... Which one was it? I think it was this guy. Well, we- okay, we, we watched the video, who was it? I think it was that guy on the right. Scan them. <laughs> it's not- is it the first one? No, it's not this guy. <laughs> the middle one? No, it's not the middle one, it was this guy. Look, we got to- we watched, like, the flashback. Go watch the VOD, somebody figure it out. It was the guy in the middle? Guys, we're talking about, like, somebody's life here. It's the middle guy, it's the middle one. Alright, we're gonna do a straw poll. Yeah, here comes a straw poll. Second from the left. Alright, here comes the straw poll, hold on. I have no idea. And we're about to, like, identify, like, the fucking murderer. I'm just gonna do one, two, three, four, five. And that looks like three is winning. I'm almost as tall as suspect number one. Actually, guys, sorry to say this, but, like, I'm, like, up here. I'm, like, right there. I'm, I'm taller than all these guys. So, sorry. You're wrong. This is 5'6". Wait, by the way, how do you go from 5'6 to 6 feet right here? That's not- that's not- doesn't make any- <coughs> Alright, it's, it's- it's the middle guy. The middle guy is winning by a huge amount. Thank you for voting. That's- it's- we're closing the poll. By the way, why do I have to pick for her? She's the one that witnessed the crime. I was just told about it. Why do I have to pick this? That's the guy. I'm sure of it. <laughs> okay, let me scan these people. Uh, okay, we need to- we need to go to legal level. We gotta build the case here, do identity. Line up, case for identity, there he is. Okay, see, yep, yeah, there he is. Why well, do I need to scan that, by the way? That doesn't seem like something that needs to be scanned. Are we ready for trial? I'm not sure. Probably not. But you know, fucking whatever. There has to be something I can do here, but there's just absolutely nothing to do. Why does this exist? Like, there's nothing here. Let's go, oh wait, I have a new, I have a new message. I got a phone message. From what I understand, the hearing will be conducted in Judge Hilton's office at 10 o'clock on Wednesday morning. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, sir. Uh, court reporter will be present at the time. Did you just shoo me away? You have two messages. This is Larry from the Gear Hodge. Looks like you got some problems here. Your front brakes are shot and your back ones ain't so hot either. I'll transmit a facsimile over to you with an S to the man. Now, the witness tapes, right? The witness tapes. 
Hi, this is Cannon Stationery and Supply. Welcome to the neighborhood. Anything you need, the way of office supplies, the paper clips, the fax machines, keep us in mind. Okay, thanks for the filler. Thank you for the filler. I appreciate that. Interrogation records evidence. Let's get in here for the uh, trial tomorrow. Uh, we got the car. Scan that. Okay. I'm just gonna have to scan all this shit, aren't I? Oh, of course I am. And, like, I'm gonna have to get the fingerprints and shit. Oh, no. No time for that. <laughs> Court is about to start. Court is about to- Good luck, counselor. Oh, no. Oh, God. And case for murder. We have, like, killing of a human being. Oh, shit. Um, gun. Premeditated. None of this is fucking right, by the way. This is all- this is all- none of this is right. You just- you know, I, I'm a good talker, you get the guy on that stand and I'll be able to fucking make it happen. Here we go. There he is. There's that guilty motherfucker right there. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Tommy Wu was a pretty person with thoughts and- Dreams and ideals. This is me talking. All of which were Here's Sonic the Hedgehog. The evening of January 24th. Walking around. When Tommy was murdered in cold blood by the defendant, Michael Fong. You will hear in the testimony of Cindy Chen how the defendant came into Hal's bar with a group of Chu Sing gang members and headed straight for Tommy Wu. You will hear how Tommy was choked with a steel cable and dragged to the floor. <laughs> the defendant is charged with first degree Sonic. murder. In a suit. The evidence will show he is guilty of Walking this back and forth, like moving his hands around. Oh, god damn it. I can't wait to put the third disc in. Yeah. By the way, what does this have to do with rats? Did I miss that? Did I miss the entire rat tattoo arc of the whole stream? I had to have. There was probably like a whole huge story about the rat tattoo. Witnesses. Alright, Cindy Chen, Dexter White, Sam yeah. Iverson, Lou Sun. Alright, let's- this guy said he was gonna help me out. Remember, he was like, I got you. He said like something about like, I got you. Like, I'll see you in a few days. So it's a few days, let's get him on the stand. The people called Dexter White to the stand. Alright, you acknowledge, uh, finish with the witness, like, acknowledge, well, how did, excuse me, how did you know the defendant? Uh, Mr. White, please tell the court what you heard about the Chu Sing's drug operation in Chinatown. Uh, Mr. White, please tell the court what you heard about the defendant's possession of an automatic weapon. Or tell the court what you heard about the defendant's involvement in the murder of Hal's bar. Uh, what do you know about, uh, what do you know about the, uh, the drug operation? Mr. White, please tell the court what you heard about the Chu Sing's drug operation in Chinatown. Objection. Calls for hearsay. Fuck you. Objection sustained. What? Why? Uh, uh, what, do you, what do you know about the murder? Mr. White, please tell the court what you heard about the defendant's involvement in the murder at Hal's bar. What do you know about that? Hey, man, I told you I don't know nothing about that. Counselor, counselor, I recommend calling when calling when a relevant information regarding <laughs> no, they do, What are you talking time about? Time is valuable. What? Uh, this guy said he was going to help me. What? He said he was going to help me. Oh my god. All right, Cindy Chen, get up there. People would like to call Cindy Chen to the stand. That guy was like, I'm going to help you. All right, she uh, remember the lineup? Based on your intuition, do you see the person in the court that took the gun and shot Tommy Wu? Based on your intuition, do you see the person in court that took the gun and shot Tommy Wu? You did, didn't you? Yes, I do. Yeah? Where are they? Objection ambiguous. <laughs> Objection sustained. Wait. Please rephrase the question. Oh, then it could be anybody. No, point like just... <laughs> Knock it off, counselor. It could just be. Why did I? Why did I get like a, a a gasp from the audience? This isn't like a fucking play. What, what did I do? I said, "Did you see the guy that did it? Point to him, you fucking idiot!" What? I'm getting like warned. Okay, hold on, Miss Chen. Independent of anything you have witnessed between the date of the shooting and today, do you see the person in the court that took the gun? No, because I that was that's the same thing. The lineup you participated in made you more confident that the defendant was the person in the court that took the gun and shot Tommy Wu, didn't it? The lineup you participated in made you more confident that the defendant was the person in court that took the gun and shot Tommy Wu, didn't it? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, Sonic. See? Being and suggestive. What? This guy comes up with a fucking excuse. Counselor, please rephrase the question. What the fuck? Topics. <sighs> no more questions, Your Honor. <laughs> uh, Mr. Blaine? I have no questions at this time, Your Honor. Yes, yeah, fuck your lawyer. You may step down. I got. I don't know. I didn't get out lawyered, by the way, guys. That didn't happen. I lose son. Bring at him this up time, here. The people called Mr. Sun to the stand. Yeah. Description of the events. 
Mr. Sun, you saw the defendant attack Tommy Wu at Howe's Bar on the night of January 24th, did you not? Mr. Sun, when did you first realize that the defendant intended to kill Tommy Wu? <laughs> That's not correct. Tell the court about the incident at Howe's Bar. Tell the court about the incident. Mr. Sun, please tell the court about the incident at Howe's Bar on the evening of January 24th. On the advice, on the advice, on the Fifth Amendment. He's gonna Fifth Amendment, okay. I don't have to answer any questions. What the fuck? Why is everybody- You may step down. What the fuck is everybody- Why? You don't have to- What? Who else is left? Alright, I don't even know who Christina Travis is, but At bring her up time, here. At this time, Your Honor, the people call Christina Travis to the stand. Who- I don't even know who this is. Please state your name and qualifications for the record. My name is Christina Travis. I'm a criminalist for the L.A. County Police Department. All right, F tool the victim's thigh tool mark ID. Are you familiar with this tool mark identification on the bruise on Tommy's thigh? Are you familiar with this tool mark identification on the bruise on Tommy Wu's thigh? Yes, the bruise was consistent with the same size and shape of the defendant with the defendant from his boot, the ones Got he was it. wearing on the day. Got him the nailed, dead to rights. Look at him, he's no, fucking it's fidgeting it's around in his chair. Saying that we have down the crime lab, I hear from them tired from the tired from the tool mark ID. It goes um. <laughs> oh no, shit! It's over. The man won't tell his tale. His shoes will sing the song. Oh fuck, we're really dead to rights. <laughs> That's so funny. I got one thing correct and they all shitting their pants. All right, what about that watch? Uh, can you please uh, talk about the uh, fingerprint analysis done on Tommy Wu's watch? Miss Travis, can you describe this fingerprint analysis done on Tommy Wu's watch? Yeah, but I don't know why you're asking about it. The results have no bearing on this case. Shut up. Fuck you. I'm the, I'm the courtroom d guy here. <laughs> it's all right. We're finished. We got him dead to rights. No more questions, Your Honor. We already got him dead to rights. Mr. Blaine? I have no questions at this time, Your Honor. I got him even have... He, he's just wearing frames. You may step down. He's wearing frames. Now, let's call the last witness. We got Sam Iverson. The people call Sam Iverson to the stand. Please state your name and quality. There he is. There's a the creepy Bill Nye uh, wannabe. My name is Sam Iverson. I am a coroner a coroner a coroner county. I have an expertise in the area of forensic pathology. Nice. Uh, is, is it true? Are you are you or are you not a fucking Let's creep? Ah, uh, yes, I, I I am a creep. I am a fucking creep. Okay. Mr. Iverson, are these photographs typical of gang-related murders? Mr. Iverson, would these photographs disturb an average jury member? <laughs> tell me about these photographs. Mr. Just Iverson, about can you tell me about these photographs? Yeah, those are pictures I took of the deceased. Oh, stuff. no. Runner. I move to suppress these photographs. They're being offered by the prosecutor just to inflame the passions of the jury. No, dismiss that. Counselors, please approach the bench. What? What the fuck is this? What's your legal response? What are you talking about? What are you, I'm like, I'm not trying to like shock jock the fucking jury. What are you talking about? Oh no, I don't know this shit. Evidence code section 210? How the fuck am I supposed to know this? Uh, I don't want to read like any legal documents. It's, it's two, right? It's gotta be two literally need to be a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, it's two. Uh, photographs which have been authenticated as accurate were admitted as evidence when relevant. Excuse According me. According to People v. Bowley, the photographs should be admitted because they are relevant and authenticated as accurate. Counselor, the two photographs will not be admitted. What? What the fuck? Why? Oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Iverson, Mr. Iverson, Mr. Did you take this photograph during your autopsy of Tommy I'm Wu? not getting destroyed. Yes, it's a, yeah, it's a picture I took of the, the contusion on the victim's left thigh, which was badly bruised. Yeah, badly bruised, huh? That's right. No more questions, Your Honor. Mr. Blaine? This guy never asks questions. I have no questions at this time. Uh, I just, like, make a smug look on my face with my frames on. You may step down. And uh, I'm just here for, like, a background character to look and laugh at the player when they do a, a, a bad thing. Right, that's it. We got we, uh, we got our case here. Our case is here. We're, uh, we're ready to go. I rest my case. At this time, Your Honor, the people rest. Oh God, we had to put the fucking third disc in for the goddamn. They did this for like suspense purposes. You know that, right? It's like, oh, I wonder. Did I win? Did I beat the game? I gotta put the third disc in. Uh, I'm gonna go pee regardless and come back after this, regardless of what the fucking verdict is. This is just like the O.J. Simpson trial, where everybody had their TVs on. We, oh, there's like, just like the O.J. Simpson trial, there's like 1,800, there's like 1,900 TVs on right now. Here we go. Your Honor, I would like to make a motion to dismiss this case due to the insufficiency of the evidence. No. Motion granted, Mr. Blaine. Counselor, if you are going to do your homework... 
I got fucking zero percent. How? <laughs> You're not even gonna give me like one percent on this case? Really? Like that's that's a goddamn shame. Oh god, give me a fucking break. All that guy did was make faces. He didn't even pre he did that guy didn't present any evidence. I love the guy that has no evidence. Don't worry. Shut up. Sometimes it happens when you have a weak case. All you can do is climb back on the horse that threw you. I can't even do the other ones. What the fuck? Right, I'm gonna go pee. I'll be right back. I'm going to the bathroom. See you guys in like two minutes. I wanted to see what these other cases are. Oh god, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, there, there was... There was a lot of money just given. Hold on a second. Rampaging Scrub just gave a hundred bucks and he said, shh, don't mention anything to him. Wait, why would you not want me to know that you gave a hundred dollars with your Ultra Kappa? I got a hundred dollars for peeing. Well, thank you. Thank you for your hundred dollars, Rampaging Scrub. I want to do these other ones. Why can't I play these? Like, look, there's like a diamond jewelry thing. This would be so like funny to watch the stupid cutscene. Finding a donation was your best detective work so far. <laughs> it really was. Uh, <laughs> thank you, AD Nova, for the $15 as well. Objection, shut your stupid lawyer face. <laughs> Just download a save game? Where the fuck am I supposed to do that? I here we go. Here we go. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Did that was that green? Alright, we're gonna fast track this. I need to see at least one of these. You know, you know I have to see this. It's important. So we're going to... I'm going to fast track this. We're just going to skip through and just do all the right things. Restart the game. New game. Don't save anything. Now I guess it has to be this one for some reason. Now the audio is all fucked up. Hold on. Let's go back to like Windows 98 and like take a look. Let's go into like the fucking C drive. The fake C drive. This is a Windows 90, 98 stream. Uh, program files. I wonder if I can just go in like the I and I and like uh, do it. Uh, what the fuck does any of this even mean? Justice, yeah, trivia, trivia three. Uh, yeah, nice I and I stream. <laughs> this is very important. Trial three. Can I just open it from here? No, that is not. That is not correct. What is this? This is a fucking media file. <laughs> oh, you guys want to see the third trial? All revised. Court is now in. Should I put the second disc in? Maybe that's what it has to be. Hold on a minute. What happens if I do that? It might be like on the second disc. Okay, here we go. Let's see it. Oh god. <laughs> like Bonzi, buddy. Yeah, this is my new computer, guys, don't you know? Th I have a CD in there. Please insert any CD. It's in there. This disc too, man. What are you talking about? Shit's in there. Please insert CD. Okay. Alright, we're just- we're just gonna fucking go to disc one. I'm gonna try to do this right, because I want to see the other things. Looks like game sucks. No, I mean, this-, this for Bert's time, this was actually pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, please put any CD in, as long as it's CD number one. Switch games? I mean, I- I get- I could switch games, too. That is something I could do. Hey, how you doing, counselor? Shut up. Alright, let's take- scan all this shit, because this is all so important. This is how you win. You scan everything, and you bring it to the, the person's office. And then identify the guy in a lineup. Scan the gun, get the fingerprints, and then go to trial immediately. Get the lineup, scan the fingerprints, go to trial immediately. Scan is like chapstick. And there's the there's the tattoo, right? There's the rat tattoo. I wonder what the smoking gun is here, by the way. There's some smoking gun. So a case for murder. Criminal act. The gun, obviously premeditated, I mean, like him in the parking lot, right? He's in the parking lot, this is the guy, like, killing the guy, there's the knife. Coroner's office, let's get this. Well, this is new, he's eating, like, pizza. I, uh, I went to a dinner party last night, my sister-in-law, and my wife catches me staring at him, and we're having cocktails, I I want that so bad right now, I'm so hungry. She announces to everyone, she says, oh, don't mind Sam, he's just wondering what time, wondering what force marks that lamb would actually That pizza is making me fucking starving, I can't really eat pizza. Device, device, I don't even have pizza, and I want it. right. I just can't seem to leave my job. All right, shut the fuck up, like, who cares about your shitty, like, your life? Nobody cares about your dumb life. Uh, let's get... That went very fast. Uh, it's like somebody's, like, popped pimple. 
No, that's a bullet fragment. We're gonna put that in with the uh, bullet with the uh, intent to kill. And that's the chest x-ray of the victim, Tommy Wu. You can see ribs 9 and 10 have spiral fractures consistent with the traumatic injuries he sustained. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I gotta get this guy talking so he can talk a lot during the trial. And that's the chest x- Uh, let's go to the crime lab. Let's get all those things I scanned. I haven't heard about it. I haven't heard about it. Get on that computer. And you don't have anything for me, like, you piece of shit. Why do you not have anything for me? I don't know. Here's a look at some red blood. Nice. Case is already ruined. Why would the case already be ruined? What are you talking about? How did I ruin it already? Uh, let's go to the jail. Lots of times when an inmate's ready to. Run. We need to speed run this. This is where I'm going to talk to the, the prisoner. Sorry, here. counselor. I haven't got any prisoner requests for you today. Somebody tell you otherwise? <laughs> Those red blood cells were gray. Okay, where do I send in the info from like my building? I don't remember. I think it's from my office, right? Yeah, I got to go to the order form. I got a lot of evidence now. Uh, hair and fiber analysis, like, tell, let me know what you got for me. Chemical and fingerprint analysis. I think somebody was drinking paint. Put that in the lab, too. This is the watch. This is a lot of info. Somebody's about to work overtime at this lab, by the way. Uh, it's probably gonna be done. Yeah, here we go. She's gonna go. That's all, folks! I'm done with those tests, you Alright, we're good. Let's take a look. Look at all this info. Look, we only had two last time. Fingerprint knife. Uh, it's this one right here. Yeah. Nope. Try again. I mean, no. Oh, it isn't that one. Which one is it? It's so pixelated, I can't even fucking tell. It's this one. You spotted it. That's a loop print. The index finger of Michael Fong's right hand. Here it is. We're going in here with so much evidence this time, guys. There's no way I'm gonna lose. I'm coming. Look, I'm gonna have a fucking. Oh. Counsel, ready or not, you're doing court what? ASAP. Wait, what are you talking I'm about? I'm looking forward to hearing the justice was done. What are you, wait, 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 what? What are you talking about? I had so much more time last time. What? Oh my god, okay, uh, fingerprints, fingerprint, marking pen, hair and a fiber ID? You gotta be shitting me. I spent three days in the lab? I spent longer than that. Oh, come on, this is fucking terrible. I, I... I don't- I don't understand- like, what the fuck happened? Premeditated, um... <laughs> hair sample. Whose tattoo is that? I don't even fucking know. I don't even like- I don't even know. I didn't have enough time to think about this. There's nothing I have premeditation. What, I- I- like, I- let's just go to fucking trial, I don't even care. Like, let's go. How do I get out of here? Oh, I need to have something there. Here, premeditated. Like, you were in the fucking parking lot for a minute. Okay, here's your fucking ring. There's your hair. I- I don't- I don't even care. Let's go. But I lost audio. There's no audio anymore. This is I have to, the audio's gone. We have to go by our instinct now to see if like we we can we can win. What if I just what if I insert disc three? Will I win? I can I gotta go back and like turn on the audio. What happened? He sat there and smiled for a minute. I didn't already lose, did I? No, I I had at least I had enough evidence to put somebody on the stand. Did I don't, don't I? I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Sound. Where's my this audio is just gone. We don't have it. What's going on? Nobody came up to the stand. I don't even have any questions for her. I wish I could hear what anybody was saying. This is fucking stupid. She- I think he, he has a question. We're not gonna even be able to hear what it is. You want me to voice act this? It's gonna be hard. Objection. Oh yeah, something went wrong. Something for sure. <laughs> Look at this smug motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you ran out of video RAM, didn't ya? <laughs> What do you have to say for yourself? Anything? I wasn't talking to anyone. All right, let's get Michael Gonzalez up there. Let's talk about the rat tattoo. Do you recognize the tattoo in this photograph? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? He just blinked a bunch of times and that was it. Okay, thanks for answering my question. Based on your expertise as a gang investigator, do you have any opinions on that? No, he's just gonna blink at me. This guy communicates through blinking. I don't know what that means. Okay. Okay, I just got an objection. Objection, Your Honor, and this- we changed the white balance in the video camera. Something went wrong here, and you can't say that. You can't say it's gang-related. How dare you say those words? Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, and fuck you, too. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not putting the third disc in. I'm not gonna do it. Nope. 
See, I'm not putting the- wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Which one of these is it? Okay, those of you guys that are lawyers, which one of these is it? Trying to outdo the Skate 3 stream. No, I wanted to play that. I'm having like a good time. It's three? One? I need a lawyer to tell me what it is. Two, go for the biggest, go for the longest, most high-winded one. <laughs> one, one. We're going with one. Okay. Hmm. Um Hmm. 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 Mr. Ash Striker. You know I am gonna allow that to be prosecuted into the case. Fuck <laughs> I think I think we got it right. Mm, yeah, yeah, I mean, that is one of the things you would, uh, if we would put it forward if the knife was relevant. <laughs> it's, it's, I can't voice act this because it's, it freezes every two seconds. And the water next to me is a little warm. I would have appreciated a little bit. Colder of a temperature, but you know, I'm not going to be complaining about that very much. I just want to let you yeah, know that I have a. <laughs> it's not possible. There's nothing I can do about this. Oh, they got Bernie Sanders sitting there contemplating the case. I wonder if this was a murder. Because if it was, I hoped they go to trial and I will be on the jury for that one. I promise you. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. This guy's very long-windedly talking about this. You guys wish you could know what was going on? I think I win. Did I win? I don't know. Alright, well, let's talk about the knife now. Detective Gonzalez, please tell the court what you know about butterfly knives they used in gang conflicts. Can you, can you tell when this butterfly knife was booked into evidence? Um... Yes, uh, it was booked into evidence uh, not that long ago, probably. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, I'm done with you. <laughs> Any more witnesses for you, my friend? <clears throat> okay, you're free to go. Thanks for coming over. I got one more. We got Christina Travers. I, I would restart this, but I feel like we have a pretty strong case right now. Christina Travers, please get up to the stand there. She came in too fast. This, she, she, she came in way too fast. I don't even know what she said. Who knows? All right, we got a lot of things to say here. Fingerprint, gun. Isn't the fact that the defendant wiped his fingerprints off on the murder weapon an indication of his guilt? No, that's objection. That's leading. Did you attempt a fingerprint identification on the weapon found at the crime scene? I like that one. What were the conditions under which the fingerprint identification was performed? <laughs> okay, th why does everybody give me the death stare? Objection. Uh, I don't like this very much. You watch it. You do one more mistake like that and I'm gonna end the game. What the fuck did I do? I don't even understand what I did. Here. Did you attempt a fingerprint identification? I did. And I also identified that I have fucking clown hair. Yes, I do have clown hair. Oh, thank you for saying that, me. <laughs> I love this. How does this fingerprint analysis damage the defendant's self? I sound like I'm shit-faced right now. Did you, occur did you concur with your fingerprint analysis on the defendant's butterfly knife? I'm gonna go with two. Or three. I'm gonna say three. Did you perform a fingerprint analysis? It's like not loading the next video clip after this. Like the whole game is broken, but I think that's gonna- Yes, I did. Uh, hair and fiber ID gold chain. Uh, please describe the uh, analysis, please. Well, let's just, just pretend that she did. She just said, yes, I did twice. Okay, whatever. I don't even know what this means. No, we're gonna get another objection and I'm gonna get fucking thrown out of court. Don't throw me out of court. Don't do it. Don't like call me up and be like a fucking mean parent and be like an upset parent with me. I told you not to do that. Wait, no, 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 no. I think I got it. I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. All uh, she just says yes. That's all she just says yes. Yes, I did. She's gonna say yes, I did again. Yes, I did. And that's it. Okay, bye. Thanks for thanks for playing. 
Wait a minute, we got we got a fucking issue here. Oh my god, I wish I could hear anything. We got one more witness. It's Sam Iverson. I'm definitely gonna- uh, this is like- oh, this is R.I.P. I'm so hungry, it's gonna drive me crazy. That stupid fucking pizza guy. This guy eating the pizza right here. Uh, autopsy of the head. Tell me about these photographs. Yo, oh, look at how fucking happy he is. Yeah, they're really gruesome, aren't they? I love this one in particular. Now they get grossed out, and this is where I have to let them see it in court. Bernie Sanders is pissed about it. All these extras that made like 40 bucks staying here for like 12 hours. I've done that before. It sucks. Okay, which one is it? He's- he, he's- I have to like- I have to- I have to tell him why this is allowed. Which one is it? I got this wrong last time. This is the wrong one. It's one of these two. Relevant evidence means evidence, including evidence relevant to the credibility of a witness having any tendency and reason to prove or disprove any disputed fact that is consequence to determine- This is the most wordy, mouthful, shitty lawyer answer, so it's probably two. This one is the- this said three words in four sentences, so this is probably the correct answer. That's the- that's that one. <laughs> Call the lawyer and ask him. I am the lawyer. He's gonna let me keep it, right? You can tell- we're gonna- I have no idea if we're gonna be able to tell by the look on this guy's face. If he smiles, it means we didn't get it. No, it means we didn't get it. We didn't get it. He did the condescending whistle. We didn't get it. <sighs> tell me about hair. <laughs> no shit! I- <laughs> Hey, tell me about hair. Well, you see... Hair? <laughs> he just, like, burped. Oh my god. What's going- like, I- I was trying- <laughs> If I could hear what they're saying... <laughs> he doesn't have any hair. <laughs> this guy's an expert in hair. <laughs> That's such a mean jab. Hey, buddy, uh, I know you're fucking bald, but hey, tell me about hair. <laughs> you seem to be such an expert. What happened? I'm getting sternly talked to, I think. Did you collect this hair sample? How does this hair incriminate the defendant? It's probably three. I don't even fucking know. I'm about to, like, go eat food. That's not two. Two is just so easy. Two is, like, it's probably, it's three. Two is just a simple question. Did you collect this hair? Yes, I did. <laughs> Ask him about hair. <laughs> Can we have a recess? No, I can't do that. Three is leading? All right, whatever. Okay, well, uh, hopefully that worked. Tell me about hair. All right, finish with a witness. Let's put in disc three and fucking lose. Can't wait. Here we go, guys. Uh, you have any questions? No, you don't. I have no questions for the witness. So let's, uh, okay, let's end the fucking trial and let me lose. Uh, there's no more witnesses. I can't, like, I, I didn't know that it was going to take five fucking seconds. And we're going to get zero percent again. That's, that's fantastic. Yep, yeah, insert rat movie three. Okay. I better not get- I know I'm gonna lose, but I better not get 1%. Uh, but let me put a whole disc in for you to tell me I lose. That's good. What is it? What is he saying? Oh, uh, we- let's dismiss the case. I'm gonna dismiss the case. Yes, we are. There's no evidence. Ah, yeah, I got you. Get fucked. Oh, you lose. It's gonna be 0% again. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna fucking- I just want to save this. Maybe I can, like, if I knew that it was going to take that long to scan evidence. We did better the first time. All right, I might just go eat food. I'm, I'm going to die. I haven't eaten anything, anything, like, all day. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, tomorrow's stream is going to be... No, I'm not done yet. Hold on. We ain't... We're not done with this. Come on, give me another case. Oh, you fucker. I don't know why I can't do these. Why would a third one be available? Real life games. They're so good. Well, now things are all fucking up. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, the Pursuit of Justice. It was a. Yeah, I liked that game. If if it, if I could only beat it, if I could only beat that game, that was a fun game though. It was terrible. The game was terrible. <laughs> well, how was I supposed to know? You know, we, we sometimes we need to find out if like a, if a fucking Pursuit of Justice game is any good. It was a good game. That game came out like fucking twenty years ago. But uh, thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, everybody, of course, and have a good rest of your night. And have a good night, and uh, goodbye, and see you later. It's also considerably the youngest of that family. It's the baby of the brass section. Uh, it wasn't around for 200 years or more after. It's, it's basically a long coiled up tube. Now I could tell you the length of this tuber, it's about 18 feet. I could tell, but I have three tubers and they're all different lengths.